This video recorded by a teacher at Briarwood School during the giant twister that touched down here in Moore, Oklahoma on Monday shows those hellish early moments and the heroism that followed. Amidst the chaos of crying children, scattered debris, the injured. Teachers work to both reassure and regain order. Look at me! It's flat down there. Sit down in the car where you're safe and you're dry. Sit down right here. Sit down. Sit down right here where you're safe and you're dry. At one point, one teacher appears to reunite with her own child. It's okay, honey. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Oh my God, I can't even recognize it. I don't even know what it used to look like. Oh my God. <laughs> the latest grim news from the medical examiner Wednesday. Six of the seven children killed at Plaza Towers Elementary, one mile away from Briarwood, suffered asphyxia. They were smothered by falling debris. Also today, authorities released the names and ages of all 24 confirmed dead. The youngest, four months old, the oldest, 65. 14 adults, 10 children, including two infants. In a town this small in the aftermath of a tornado this big, few were spared. Grief or gratitude touched every door. Here's your other Bible, babe. It's still intact? Yeah. Sort of? Sort of. Sarah and Shane Patterson got both. The home they saved and struggled to buy three years ago, gone. A few pictures of their boys, jewelry, mementos of their own childhood, all that's left. My great great grandma made that for me when I was a baby. What did you got there? It's a doll my great great grandma made me when I was a baby. How sweet is that? My mom will be happy to know it's here. And they found Sarah's shoes. My shoes that I was wearing. Your right husband had a tornado hit. It took them off my feet. The suction in the house pulled them off my feet. This is where Sarah and her two boys, Lucas 9, Noah 7, survived their tornado. They were in this interior hallway, the one part of the house still standing. They were huddled underneath this mattress, she says, praying. I was praying as hard as I could, and, you know, my, my boys just said, pray, guys, just pray. And I don't know how, other than God's hand, he was looking over us. Yeah. I don't know how we made it. The Pattersons insist they will rebuild right here with one major addition. We'll put in a storm shelter, we'll pick up the pieces, but I'm not leaving. Safe rooms are those structures built both below ground and above, and it saved so many lives here and elsewhere during a tornado. They are not required by law in Oklahoma. There is no separate federal funding for one, and only Alabama requires a safe room in all schools. The loss of life this week renewed pleas for change. Oh my gosh. As for Sarah and Shane Patterson, once they're finished searching for what's left of their house, they will cross the street and join family members searching Sarah's mother's home. It, too, is gone. Yet not a single one of them is complaining. You're smiling, it looks like. Oh, why not? They're all alive and well. It's a sentiment we heard every place we went. Tonight in this corner of America, old glory. Like the old hymns is reassurance enough. Faith and family matter deeply. People here don't grumble. They talk of grace. A lot of God winks, we call them. God winks? Yeah, yeah. yeah What's a good. God wink? Well, I don't think it's coincidence. I think it's, you know, right place, right time. A lot of God winks yeah. here and more. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of them, yeah. The mayor of Moore tells ABC News it took the city 85 days to clean up after the tornado in 1999. This time, he promises it will happen much faster. And Juju, President Obama will visit this area on Sunday to see for himself and offer the nation's condolences to a community that's lost so much.